there's a chance I could actually go home. Every year in the United States, as many as 11,000 people are on a waiting list for a new liver. Now, scientists are studying a liver preservation procedure called liver ex vivo, which means outside of the living body. The idea is that uh, a, a liver uh, organ is placed on a pump device and it's given warm oxygenated blood or sometimes just even preservation solution. A medical team removes the liver from a deceased donor. Instead of preserving it in ice, the liver is placed in a machine that passes fluid through the organ at body temperature while it's on the way to the donor's hospital. And the goal is twofold. One is to help that organ work better in the recipient. Uh, another goal is to make it last longer. Dr. Abt and his colleagues have successfully transplanted the ex vivo livers in a small number of patients. He says the next step is to take livers that are turned down for transplant and see if the ex vivo perfusion can improve their function. We look to make sure they're clearing acid, uh, that they're metabolizing glucose and things like that, making bile, and then use them for transplant if they appear to be working well on the pump. Potentially increasing the number of livers available to patients in need. I'm Marty Salt reporting. You're looking great.